If you know me, you know I am a meat guy. And if you want some amazing meat in Scottsdale North, come on inside and meet Ronnie at the meat market. You're gonna be blown away. Hey, we are here a little bit north of Scottsdale North and Carefree at the meat market. We want you to meet Ronnie today. Hi. Ronnie owns the meat market, and no, this is not an actress. She owns the place, honestly. And this really is an incredible place. I am, I mentioned earlier, I am a meat guy. I love meat, but I've never been in a meat market or butcher shop like this. It doesn't even smell like one. How do you do that? Uh, we keep some good stuff cooking in the kettle pretty much nonstop. <laughs> it is amazing, and they really have incredible products. So, I gotta tell you, I think the most burning question, if I'm, I'm not familiar with meats, is how, you know, we got all of these big box stores, Walmart, mm -hmm. Fries, all the big ones out here. How on earth can you make a living selling meat when you can go anywhere on any corner and buy meat? Uh, quality of our meat. What we bring in here is a completely different quality, not even in the same playing field as what you'll get at smaller, bigger grocery stores. Um, we, our grass-fed is unparalleled. Our grass-fed uh, beef, pork, lamb, veal, chicken, eggs, they're all raised on irrigated pasture, so there's grass underfoot year-round, which gives them the nutrition that they need to have good meat, um, not like something you would find grass-fed in a grocery store. Uh, the flavor profile is totally different. And then when it comes to our prime, we do um, top 1% prime, which is also very hard to find. You'll usually find that at a high-end steakhouse, but not in grocery stores. Um, you find a lot of bottom two-thirds prime. Um, and then we do all of our dry aging here. So we do all of our cutting, boning, everything here, and that way we can have a better control of the quality, where when you're going into these big box stores, a lot of times you're getting stuff that's pre-cut in packages and all the guys there, are they're just opening packages of steaks and putting them in the case and they're going very fast that way. So we can keep control of our quality. We grind beef fresh several times throughout the day. Um, we grind pork, lamb, everything is fresh. So I think that's the biggest thing that is just quality. Our quality is unparalleled. Well, and we, you know, it's interesting. We just had one of the customers come in here that had nothing to do with us and he was just raving about it and the difference in <clears throat> talking about how there's the, the difference in price was really small. Yeah. How can that be? We bring in the whole beef, whole hog, whole lamb, whole chicken, um, break everything down in house. Um, and we make bone broth, we make lard. We just try to make sure that there's a home for everything that we do. I noticed this. Why do you guys have a TV up here? We're a custom shop. We like people to come in and order stuff the way that they want to order it. Um, and we like them to be able to see from all angles what they're, um, what they're getting. Um, they can watch everything that they do. It's full transparency. We want to make sure that they're happy with what they're getting and there's nothing behind closed doors. We're doing everything out in the open for everybody. Show us some of the other products that you use yeah, with the Yeah, absolutely. So we do have two different types of beef that we carry. We have our, as I was talking about earlier, our fully grass-fed, grass-finished beef. Right now, we've got a lot of, um, we just put skirt steak in the case, ribeye in the, in the case. We ground beef this morning. I've got some hanger steak. Um, that case will change completely by the end of the day today. We'll have all new stuff based on what sells. Um, whole lambs, we've got lamb neck, great for winter roasts and such. Um, whole leg of lamb, if you want to put one on the spit, anything like that. In the pit roast, those are popular too. And then we also carry a prime line of beef, and that's the top 1% prime I was talking about that we dry age. So you can come in and really kind of pick if you're not a grass-fed person, you prefer the prime, the higher fat, we've got that too. Um, and then all of our pork and chicken is over here. So we make our bacon in-house, we make our sausages in-house, all fresh. Um, fresh herbs, fresh garlic, fresh cracked black pepper, all these things. Um, smoke our bacon, it's delicious. Cut to order, so if you want it paper thin or cut steak thick, we can do that for you. Um, all of our pork is heritage pork. Um, it's a breed called Idaho Pasture Pig. Basically what that means is it's, it's bred to live on pasture and thrive on pasture. So these guys are also on irrigated pasture. They've got this wonderful kind of nutty fat. Um, and we cut everything to order. So you'll see the big um, loin in there. We'll cut you if you want a three bone thick pork chop, we can cut that for you. If you want a ton of fat or no fat left on it, we'll do that too. Um, and then the trim from that and the shoulder and the sirloin is what we make our sausages with. So the, the kind of joke is you don't, want to, you don't want to see the sausage be made. Here, <laughs> we're more than happy to show you how the sausage gets made. We like that. Um, 
And yeah, chicken all pasture raised, you'll notice the skin's got a really pretty color to it and it gets super crispy. Um, it's just the, fl the flavor of the fat in the chicken is wonderful. Eggs as well, they're nice dark orange yolks and delicious. Is it likely some people have never tasted what this would be like? I mean, it would be a different Absolutely. taste. Absolutely. Absolutely. And that's, you know, we do have people that come in and ask why they should buy pork chops here rather than at a grocery store because the price is, is pretty different when it comes to it. But then you also get people that walk in here and go, oh my God, I haven't seen pork that looks like pork since I grew up on a farm in Michigan, in Iowa, in Nebraska, in the Midwest. Um, and it tastes like pork. It doesn't taste like whatever you're seasoning it as. It's, it tastes like pork. It has structure and flavor and um, it's delicious. It's wonderful. So now we got it for the cooks that are starting from scratch. What about already made stuff? We do have a, quite a few already made things. Um, we've got some options for whatever you're looking for. Um, we've got our prime beef sloppy joes, which we make with our trim from our prime tenderloin, prime ribeye, prime strip steak. So it's really, really exceptional meat um, in kind of that family classic favorite. Uh, we make pork green chili. So we smoke our heritage pork shoulder, uh, do a nice long smoke on that. And then um, hatch chilies, tomatillos, Really nice flavor, um, great for uh, breakfast nachos, one of my personal favorite uses for that. Um, and then our most popular and our original pre-made um, ready to eat is our bolognese. Uh, bolognese is 100% of our pasture raised beef, pork, lamb, and uh, cooks for about three to four hours, nice low simmer, so we take a lot of the work out of it for you. And um, here in about a month, we're gonna start bringing in, uh, as we were talking earlier, a local, um, local business Sonoran Pasta Company is going to start coming in and um, we'll be able to sell their fresh pastas here. So that bolognese on fresh pasta that needs to be refrigerated is just going to blow your mind. It's going to be awesome. That's great. So you got take it and bake it and you got ready yep. made too. Yep, so we've got meatloafs. Um, right now we've got our green chili bacon cheeseburger meatloaf. Oh. Say that five times fast. <laughs> um, and that's the fan favorite. And then when we bring veal back here in a couple weeks, we'll go back to having our veal mushroom meatloaf with pork belly. We'll be back too. So something for everybody. Honest to God. <laughs> Fantastic. We're also, you know, we're all about buying local here and you're doing that here too, aren't you? Yeah. So we, we do have a small little um, section of kind of dried goods, if you will, where we support a lot of local um, businesses, um, a lot of military-based businesses, a couple female-owned businesses. Um, so we've got like a Coutinho Hot Sauce is uh, Jacob Coutinho, who is doing wonderful things in the hot sauce world. Um, and we're really happy to have his product on our shelf. Uh, Loot and Booty Barbecue Sauce is another one that we really, really like. Um, Smitty served for our country and we love supporting him and he's got a great, great, great line of barbecue sauces. Uh, we have local honeys. We have a gentleman here that has beehives in just north of here at a eucalyptus tree, south of here in alfalfa fields. So that's really fun. And then kind of one of our favorite things is our soap. We, um, because we are nose to tail, we have a lot of um, heritage pork fat kind of left over when we trim, uh, trim chops and stuff. And we render that down and we sell rendered lard in the case but we also um, sell to uh, the Sapone brothers who make soap from our lard, which is great. Um, nice kind of start to finish. That has an interesting <clears throat> smell to it. It does, it's beautiful. He uses essential oils in all of them and they're all different. There's lavender and um, he's got one, I don't know, there's a coffee one in there. Like, oh, right it's, on. Yeah, it's, he's, they're super talented. We love their stuff, so it's really good. Very cool. Well, this We've been uh, we've been here a number of customers have come in and these are raving fans. I mean, you really have some people that are serious about you. But you were mentioning too that some of them watching some of their kids grow yeah, up from, from pregnancy. It's pretty neat to you know it's something I didn't think of at all when I first opened was having this um, kind of relationship with with people that come in here every week. And I've watched uh, there's a specific couple that are here almost every week, um, and she started coming here as she started her pregnancy and. Now she's got a little two-year-old girl who is the cutest thing in the world, and it's awesome to know that they only feed her our meat. And because of us, that little girl can have clean, no hormones, no antibiotics, and they know what they're feeding her, and that's gotta be awesome for parents to have, there's no question. Um, and it's just really, really cool to, to be able to watch them grow and um, just be a part of everyone's life, and that way they get to take a little piece of us home every day and it's nice to kind of have that and that's you know i always kind of i love people's story and i keep I, you haven't said it and i'm not trying to put words in your mouth but 
I kind of hear that story, not just with you, but with your staff, that that legacy is kind of a, a theme mm -hmm. or a feeling. Yeah. Is that right? It is. It is. It's really important. So um, I have a, a background in restaurants where a really amazing mentor and chef that I worked for for about seven years, um, two of his kind of key components to his business operation was that that legacy, like you said, and impact, that everything you do has an impact to truly try to leave a positive legacy behind with everything that you do. So even if it's something as small as taking a chicken breast home, it impacts the way that you're feeding your family and making sure that everyone stays as healthy and happy and just satisfied. That's really important to us. I think you can see the authenticity there. <laughs> this is important to them. So if it's important to you, this is a great place for you. If it's not important to you, you just like great flavor, this is a great Kevin place for it. you. <laughs> so really, this is an awesome place. We talked a little bit about how uh, they even do Thanksgiving meals, and I know they're going to be mm. awesome. Uh, unfortunately, this Thanksgiving is already sold out, but for next year, think about it. Yep. Because yep. these guys Definitely. sell out quickly. They really have raving fans. But Ronnie, this, you just blew us away here. Thank you so much for taking the time. Thank you so much for coming up. It was awesome. It was fun to have you in here and kind of show you guys what we do because it's a pretty cool, pretty cool spot in here. We've got a good family in here and it's nice to have you come be a part of it for the morning. Thank you. Thank you very much. So that's wrapping us up here. If you find yourself in Scottsdale North, and you're thinking maybe some meat and wine tonight. You got Brian and Brick, you got Ronnie in the meat market. Come on up here, make yourself an unbelievable meal. 